All right, so what's very convenient for us today is one Singaporean dollar is almost exactly equal to one Canadian dollar. Right. So the conversion is very easy for us, although in this video we will include the American dollar value of each item we see. So without further ado, let's go check out the Singaporean supermarket. And look at that, at the front side of the mall, they've got a Christmas tree, even though it's mid-November. <laughs> Glide into the holidays here in Singapore. <laughs> Just nice. Okay, let's go. All right, so starting things off in the fruit and vegetable section. Now that I think of it, Ivana, I bet you 100% of the fruit and veggies in here are imported. I think so. No such thing as a local fruit in Singapore. I could be wrong <laughs> with that. But nevertheless, you got apples from the States, six bucks each, whereas apples from China, four bucks each. So I guess the distance plays a factor in the price. But hold your horses, we've got the South African apples for $1.50. So it's not just distance, but also some other factor. Oranges about three fifty for three. Now, of course, they've got coconuts for sale, but it is a coconut in a unique serving style. This is called the cocoa thumb, premium quality. So it's like a bald coconut, already been shaved, and it comes with a little straw on top as well as a hole. If you see there, it's like it's already been tapped, ready for the straw to slide right in, and that's gonna run you five bucks for two. And lucky me, my favorite vegetable broccoli on sale, nine dollars down from ten for 500 grams. Uh, not cheap, to be honest. But nevertheless, right beside the fruit and veggie section, we've got milk here, which is not cheap. This is organic, to be clear, organic milk, but 12.50 for a liter. That is not cheap. Here's a cheaper organic one, Australian five dollars a liter i don't know who's paying 13 dollars a liter for milk <laughs> that is something special and then down here we've got eggs uh six sorry five dollars for a dozen it looks like which is pretty good price actually five dollars for 12 eggs sorry 10 eggs in canada we do 12s typically this part of the world they do 10s which sort of makes more sense but uh five dollars for 10 eggs is the cheapest one although you can definitely get some more expensive ones and right here in the fruit and veggie section, they've got a promotion on soju, which is looking at $12 for a bottle of soju. Right at the front door with the fruit and veggies. <laughs> oh, this is a leak. <laughs> I thought it was bok choy. I asked Ivana, is it bok choy? Uh, five bucks for... Is that a big leak or is that a normal leak? It looks big. A leak is normally big. Okay. Normal size leak, five bucks. Squash. Squash, little tiny squashes. It's from Australia, actually. Six bucks. It looks like quay. <laughs> looks like quay. It does look like a little quay. It looks like a little it's squash. It looks like snack. So as we suspected, 100% of the fruits and veggies were imported, although we did find some locally produced sausages, which we didn't expect to see. In terms of the beef products, was mostly from Australia, and then Ivana and I purchased a $12 roasted chicken, which is a pretty good deal, um, considering the meat prices in Canada are a lot higher than here in Singapore. Even the beef prices were pretty good, uh, like $5 for a steak, which is not bad. And then right beside the fruit and veggie section and the meat section is this relatively small cheese sort of kiosk here. We've got some more artisanal stuff, which is not too cheap, looking like 12 bucks for a small piece. Although they've got some, this is pretty good. Double brie, $8 for a wheel of unicorn double brie. Oh, Truffle butter. This will be so good with mashed potatoes. Truffle butter for 13 bucks. Uh, maybe fancy. maybe my eyes are a bit off because the Canadian <laughs> prices are so out of whack right now. But some of this stuff is pretty affordable. Yes, yes. It's comparable to Canadian prices. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Cheaper yeah. than Canada. And look at this. They even have some baby bell, which is pretty exciting. Uh, this is a born and raised oh, snack. I love this. And days. not bad. Six bucks for the baby bell. But they only get... 
that's kind of expensive. Well, that's true, but, but in Canada, it's, it's also expensive in Canada. probably even more. And then here's the less artisanal and more standard issue cheese blocks, smooth gouda, nine dollars. Still not too cheap, although it is bigger than before. And check it out, they even have what's called streaky bacon, product of the Netherlands, which looks like bacon that I'm familiar with. A lot of times in Asia, they sell it's bacon, but it's something that I'm not too familiar with. Is it two for eight? Two for eight dollars, streaky bacon. Pretty good, actually, no? That's a good price. Let me put two of those in the cart, don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Now, in terms of the sauce pack shelf, they've got some very North American classics, Old El Paso taco mix. I was born and raised on that. And of course, they've got some, what I would call Malaysian uh, branding here, Macnonia, which Ivana and I tried a lot in Malaysia. But one thing I noticed is Singapore has some pretty good branding because it says things like Singapore bihun paste or Singapore laksa paste or Singapore rendang paste. Where my experience in Malaysia, it just says rendang paste or laksa paste. But here they say Singapore curry. Or of course the famous Singapore chili crab. So I think they've got some good, uh, good branding with their uh, country dishes. A lot of the words Singapore and everything about two or three dollars for a sauce pack. And of course, it wouldn't be a supermarket tour without us talking about mayonnaise versus mustard versus ketchup. Okay. So you can see a couple little lonely bottles of ketchup here. It is the familiar brand Heinz, and it's about five bucks a bottle. The mayonnaise section looks big at first glance, but actually only a bit of mayonnaise and a lot of tartar sauce and coleslaw dressing, about 350 a bottle. And then as per usual in this part of Asia, more chili sauce than ketchup. There was a couple of ketchup bottles on the bottom row, but the whole top shelf here, chili sauce, chili sauce, chili sauce, sweet Thai, chili garlic, and the price, ooh, the price, if you get lucky, will be a dollar a bottle for a garlic chili, but usually about two or three dollars, and ketchup will run you a little more, maybe four bucks a bottle for ketchup. And here is something that I find a lifesaver in these spicy food countries. This is called the Occult. There's another one called Vita Gin, which I use quite often. It looks like a simple yogurt drink, uh, but it is action packed. It costs about seven bucks for five bottles, but it will absolutely cure your stomach if you've got too much heat from the chili in it. Be careful because if you drink five or six of them, you'll have stomach problems. It's action packed Vita Gin. Uh, stomach saver for spicy countries where I cannot handle the food. Now here we have olive oil. Believe it or not, they actually have canola oil, which is something I haven't seen too much outside of Canada. Looking about five bucks a bottle. And then olive oil, slightly more expensive, although still affordable. Ivana is remembering Malaysian olive oil to be very expensive because in Malaysia, they rely a lot on palm oil. Uh, this is a pretty decent price, 30 bucks for a big jug like that, two liters yeah. of olive oil. I think in Malaysia that would be a lot more. Although, check this out, $1.50 for a small vegetable oil. So it seems like all oil types are available here. It's sort of affordable. I'll tell you what, here is something that I have not seen in very many grocery stores in our grocery store tour around the world. This is a pretty big organic section. Something that's sort of familiar to me. This idea is really catching on and getting more popular in Canada. I guess in Singapore it's the same. Oh, check it out. They even have a dried fruits, nuts and seeds sort of dispenser section. Where I guess you make your own jar and weigh it up and sort of create your own mixture. And you can do the same with cereals. This is sort of a health centered thing. It says organic, sustainable, fresh, and affordable. Something you might see in Canada. To be clear, I haven't seen this exact thing in Canada before, but this is something that I could see catching on. It's a uh, health-oriented breakfast, highly customizable section here in the grocery store. Something new that we definitely didn't see in Malaysia. Now, the rice section is pretty big. It's got a bunch of really big-sized bags like four or five kilos worth, and an average price is about 12 or 15 dollars. 
Now, it wouldn't be a supermarket tour without the coffee versus tea analysis. We have some Milo here, which we know they love in Malaysia. I guess it caught on in Singapore as well. And then beside that is the coffee and tea. It's about a 50-50 split between the coffee and tea. And they do have the same thing they love in Malaysia, which is this sort of pre-mixed three-in-one or two-in-one and you just dump it in. It's instant coffee, and for me, it's not my favorite, but it's really popular. Although in Singapore, they also have the name brands that I would be familiar with. They've got the expensive Starbucks coffee and Nescafe, as well as imported stuff, Colombian, Italian. It's a pretty robust, to use a coffee word, uh, coffee section here. Yeah. And so that's good news for us. We are coffee people. Ivana, would you say you're a coffee person or a yes. tea person? coffee but this is what we buy at the moment because it's not instant coffee and it has a pouch very handy yes because we don't always have a coffee machine in our airbnb that's true it's i think a, this is only available in the malaysia and singapore it's a great idea i tried to find it anywhere else in the world like indonesia or even romania i couldn't find it this is a great very handy for yes. us you just drop one in your cup mix it up add some milk and you're set good stuff Hey, you can get some Cameron Highlands tea. Five bucks for a big uh, hundred sachets. Which brings us to the bread section. We usually show the cheapest loaf, which I think is a buck fifty. Um, not too bad actually, and it looks like decent bread, sort of sliced and cheap and we'll see if they have a fresh bread section to compare they also have gardenia oh ivana says they also have gardenia which is malaysian pride and joy actually yeah and of course it wouldn't be a southeast asian bread section without pandan, pandan flavored pandan. bread stuff and so now we are looking for the small bottle of head and shoulders we tend to always show the sort of standard size of head and shoulders in these videos and it looks like everything in Singapore is super sized for shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> That's something new. Smallest you're gonna find is 650 mils. Oh, it's on sale for half off today, which is pretty convenient. So $8.80 for this, which is a great price. Good deal. Although typically $15.80, so nearly half off. Uh, that's something new. The shampoo section is all big bottles. <laughs> I didn't expect that in Singapore. <laughs> something new. So let's do the Lay's and Doritos chip flavors. Wow, Ivana's pointing at the truffle, which is something new. It is a little bit more expensive than the other bags. Of course, salted egg, we've seen before, seaweed and sour cream and onion, all $5.30 a bag. Barbecue, which looks exactly the same as the barbecue in Canada. That's the same bag and same color of the chip on the bag and everything. It looks very familiar. And then salt and vinegar and classic. So pretty familiar. Uh, chip flavors although five dollars a bag and even doritos. doritos is same same our orange one is called uh zesty it's just called taco we got the spicy which is the best one cool ranch also very good and smoking barbecue eh. i have a question Hit me. how is a nachos taste like tacos <laughs> you never had a nacho oh. that tastes like a taco taco is like with meat and stuff and right? like and like salsa and cheese oh, i guess okay, i don't know I it. <laughs> it's kind of funny a nacho <laughs> tastes like a taco <laughs> And just like that, I think I found the most Singaporean snack. This is the Singapore Chili Crab Seaweed Tempura, created by our team of dedicated snackologists, which is some really interesting flavor. You might like that, actually. Wait, wait, it only costs eight eighty comparing it to bag. the real chili crab. And it says made with real crab meat. That could be something you'd like, Ivana. Although, if you don't like it, it's a big miss for almost ten bucks. They also love salted egg stuff yeah salted egg and fish skin again stuff that might be right up your alley Ivana more so than me cauliflower puff cauliflower puff okay that might be not bad actually might be healthy broccoli puff wow my favorite veggie right before my eyes in a in a sweet chili flavor. sweet chili bag wow not bad for four bucks it looks healthy right yeah, yeah good that. and now that we've seen the health snacks Let's go for the last item of the day, the beer. And so it seems like for most of the famous brands for beer, and the really popular ones, it's about $3 per can. Although, 
if you play your cards right in Singapore and you search, you might just get lucky and find a 20 pack, sorry, a 10 pack of Tiger for $20, which is pretty good. That's $2 a can. And that's pretty good for uh, a country like Singapore to be selling $2 a beer can. Uh, that's pretty good. A lot better than Canada beer prices. Oh, and of course we can do the Coca-Cola prices. Almost forgot one bottle which is a 100% recycled plastic bottle, $1.70. And just like any good country has, no Pepsi. It's not available because it's worse. True, right? No Pepsi. Oh, yeah. No Pepsi. That's right. Good job, Singapore. Well, it's all fruit beers there to touch. All right. So in conclusion, that was the most familiar grocery store we've been to outside of Canada from the pricing to the layout, right down to the fact that you've got to pay an extra 10 cents for a plastic bag. And there was even a moment at the cash register where I was about to go to get in line, and then another customer was about to go, and I said, go ahead. She said, no, you go. I said, no, you go ahead. She said, I insist. I thought, where am I, Canada right now? It was uh, sort of very familiar for me. So that was a pretty good experience. 28 bucks for all of our goodies, and we are now going back home. Later, skaters.